What's going on guys? I'm coming back with another College Cats episode for you guys. This is episode 4 I believe. In the previous episode I talked about my 20 minute ab workout that I do once a week. Um, if you haven't checked that out, definitely click in the tab above and go check it out. Um, but today I do, I'm doing a instructional back workout. I am focusing on really getting a good contraction and on these lat pull downs, I'm trying to touch my elbows behind my back. It's a cue. Um, don't actually try to do that because it's not going to happen. It's just a cue to try and bring your elbows back and have a slight uh, arch in your back, um, or not an arch, but a lean back to really get that full contraction in your lats. And, and then after I did the lat pull downs, I moved on to rows. I'm distracted here. I moved on to chest supported rows. I really, really like this machine. I feel a great stretch. I do wish that it was a little bit, um, had a little bit more range of motion for me because I can have my arms a little bit bent and have it drop down. Um, just be careful of that if your arms are long like mine. I really, like I said, I really like this. I feel a fantastic contraction. Um, try and bring your elbow past your back and really pull through it. Um, think of the motion as having a, a string attached to your elbow and that's pulling you straight back. Don't pull with your hand. Um, I like to bring my thumb over the bar, as you can see, and not grip it like I would a normal barbell. Um, it really helps me focus on contracting my back and not pulling with my bicep. Um, this is just one thing that I found to really, really help me and grow my back a lot more. After that, I did a overhand grip on the row. I dropped the weight because this is a an exercise that people don't usually focus on. It's very different than the bent over row. I find it a lot more difficult, um, but it's a very similar exercise. Same thing here, you really want to focus on pulling with your elbow, like having a string attached to the end of it, and that's pulling you through. Um, I took a quick break there because I I was losing my grip. So after I did the seated overhand row, I moved on to this row variation. Um, it incorporates both a vertical and horizontal, moving, making it a diagonal row. I really like this. It's about eye level for me, and then I just kneeled far enough away to where I could get the full extension and stretch at the top, and then pull all the way through. Um, I love this exercise because the stretch is phenomenal, and the contraction when you bring it back is so good. The angle's good. I definitely would suggest you trying it out. After that, I moved on to the cable pull-through. One of my favorite exercises for back to finish it off with, it hits your mid-back and it hits your lats very well. Um, for me to really feel this though, I have, to, I have to be pretty exhausted and I have to have had worked those other muscles a lot. Um, one thing to keep in mind with this exercise is your triceps and your shoulders can take over if you allow them to. So try and keep your arms as straight as, not as straight as possible, but a slight bend in them to protect your elbow and then just pull through like you're rowing a boat is the best way I can describe it. Um, that's the last exercise I did. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned. What's going on guys? So as a college student, funds are very, very low. So I can't always buy like a nice steak or like expensive meals like that. So I do a lot of my own cooking and for my cooking, I have very, very basic because it keeps it very cheap and I eat essentially the same thing 
every single day. So here's a sample of my dinner. I've saved a lot of my calories for tonight so I can really enjoy myself and kind of indulge and make myself feel a little bit fuller. So I always, I'm always a, a night snacker. So this way it helps me kind of stay within my calories but also enjoy life a little bit more. So here it is. I have that. I have 139 carb, 11 fat, 73 protein. So I have six ounces of chicken. I have two El Paso pita bread, um, a cup and a half of green beans, and then two cups of rice because I have not had any carbs today. So that's my basic dinner. Um, it's just chicken and rice. It's very, very cheap. I buy chicken breast because I think I can get it for like $2.50 per pound at Costco. Um, I buy in bulk. Like this is this is the chicken I buy from Costco. It's great. It's easy. It's prepackaged. Um, highly suggest it, and it saves a lot of money. And I also buy rice in bulk. I've had this. I had that for about a month, so it was pretty cheap. So definitely buy in bulk, it keeps it cheaper. If you can afford that one-time investment, it will last you a lot longer. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you, okay?